morning traders welcome to this week's weekly outlook so we're just looking at the dollar index at the moment and uh, we can see two strong um, sessions higher so this week uh, will be a shortened trading week with um, good friday coming up uh, there will be us data coming out that day though so the um the dollar will continue to trade on good friday i believe so looking at the dollar here we, i think the real the real idea is are we going to see a continuation we need to see a uh, break of this high we have pretty good solid looking support down at this level here got a higher low got a trend break so this trend line here so that's sort of setting up the idea if we even if we do see a bit of a pullback we want to see then if that trend stays in play we see a new uh, extension higher to test or break this area here if that does occur we'll continue to look for uh, further selling on uh, risk currencies we can see a nice higher uh, lower high in play here so will this looks a bit of a junky uptrend as well is this going to be a new continuation lower taking the aussie um you know a fair bit lower we'll have to wait and see it's the same for the euro we're seeing you know a break lower as well and the pound as well we are seeing you know a break lower so for the pound if we do see a move down to test and break this support area that will be pretty key that's a pretty key support down at that level and um similar with um, some of the other risk currencies. So US index has finished lower on uh, Friday. So we'll continue to see if these are breakout continuations. We can see the breakout here. The the, the pattern on the uh, S&P and the, uh, the, the US 30 is very similar. The NDX still remains a bit stuck behind our key resistance. We can see this there. That really, the key resistance at the moment is that probably the 18.354 area roughly, and we have um, support down at 17.792. So it does look like it's trying to continue still but we just even if we put a little pull back into that middle of that range we then want to see a move out just to really show us that you know that this trend is going to continue it is lagging though um, we've seen that pattern already done uh, on uh, the us 30 and the s p so we'll see if it can follow through but i think um we just need to see if we do get a new test of that high just to, re to confirm that we are going to move higher. Uh, if not, then we do pull right back down into these areas. I have to just give the market some time to work out what's going to happen next. So as um, there were some comments on Friday that we, the US may only see one uh, rate cut this year. Uh, I think that has uh, dented some momentum and given the US dollar a bit of a boost. So that's a bit of a turn uh, into probably from what some people were looking for or expecting uh, from this year. So looking at some of the other indexes, we can see uh, the, J the JPN 225 after the interest rate rise last week, didn't really do too much to it. The market still continued higher. There was a bit of movement in the yen, but um, it hasn't done much to um, quell the JPN 225. Set another record uh, last week, and we did see a bit of a pullback on Friday. So it's really did still powering along. So we can even see with that deep pullback, even though we had that mark that come up, that test lower, uh, we can see another extension higher so there's a bit of good you know a bit of new something just to keep in the back of our mind when uh, looking at some of the us indexes um the hong kong 50 has just update that um it's stalling a little bit we can see a nice lower high here it did push down but um it did find a little bit of buying support late in the session on friday uh key resistance really sits here at um 17.135 this trend which was trying to break this overall downtrend it does look to be losing a little bit of steam in this area here so continue to see if the support areas at this level here and this level here can hold and if we get a new test up to break and you know break this resistance and um set off keep this trend going higher so the asx um is up and running this morning with 0.47 percent higher we can see this nice push higher at this stage so we'd love to see a test of um 7815 just to show that uh, we, we are seeing a continuation and there's very nice support coming in you know all the way down at this level here at 7642 so um gold is trading higher as well this morning but we'll just touch on oil first so that's slightly uh well, the 0.0, .0 0.5 percent lower and um, we can see here it's a nice little pullback after this breakout what we want to see next now is support here continue to hold from this area here 81 you know really 81 even and um, we want to see buyers hold that level and then if we do see a new move up to test and break this previous high just to give this you know to continue to continue to push this trend onwards so it is an uptrend we'll look for that to continue and this is just what we're seeing here is a bit of a reaction in the trend and we want to see continuation form from that if we do see a lower high and a new move down lower that changes the perspective a bit and then we'll have to re-evaluate uh, that situation price wise so gold and we won't touch on all the precious metals so gold had an um, amazing run up during last week it you know it continues to set new records as 22 triple two three point three one a uh, very high price and um just have yeah 
you can just see how high that is above some of the previous records that have been set. And um, I think, yeah, the, the situation now for gold is, is, is starting to be a little bit range bound in the consolidation. So that means buyers and sellers have sort of reached a short term tipping point. That doesn't really mean we're going to see um, you know, a major turn in trend at all. It just means it's consolidating at the moment. And depending on what kind of uh, influences we do see creeping in, we'll, either, we'll be looking for a new push up to test and break uh, those highs, or we're going to look to see if um, sellers do continue to pepper this support area. About this support area is pretty firm. We can see 21.54. Uh, so there's a lot of support at this area here. So we'll continue to see if that can hold. Uh, but yeah, at the moment it's range bound. So we need a little bit more uh, you know, price action just to, uh, to tell us or give us some uh, idea about possible direction that may be starting to come back in. So just be a little bit wary though if we do see any flashes up um, because we've already had a couple um, flashes up that have been you know sold down heavily once uh, going above that certain point. So that could occur again. So silver, similar story, very nice move up last week. Uh, hasn't made new records obviously, but it has gone all the way started getting back up to test some pretty some, you know decent uh, previous highs that were coming into 23 uh, we've had a pullback at the moment had a test of the moving average and a nice you know nice pullback up uh, off uh, daily selling and we'll continue to see if buyers can uh, work in a bit of a continuation um, you know higher so moving on to uh, cryptos just to wrap up before we just have a look at the news so we see bitcoin is you know quite trading quite nicely higher at this stage in the day it's up one point eight one percent so we had that, that pullback uh, last week down to uh, 62103 and then we saw some buying coming over the weekend as well so that was friday session there so there's sunday and today so we are breaking this trend now so if we do move up we're going to see a little pullback and then a new move up and that could be signaling us to us that bitcoin is trying to you know get back up and test some previous areas could be some resistance at this level here at 68201 and then obviously resistance up at this level around um, record highs but for key support here it remains at um, 63223 so if we do see a pullback into this area and then move up there could be a, a bit of an opportunity there but we really want to see this support held uh, ethereum's up 1.36 percent um, Sol's having a really nice start to the week, up 4.03%, and um, all the other majors at this stage are trading higher. And um, we'll just have a quick look at Sol, so we can see a really nice, you know, had a nice pullback here, and then we're starting to see a continuation on the way. Probably like to see a break here, a bit of a pullback again, and then we'll see if we can get an extension up to test some of these levels here. And just finally, we'll just touch on um, Ethereum. Uh, Ethereum, nice strong support point at 32.71. Uh, doesn't look as firm as some of the other coins, but yeah, we want to see a bit of a break above uh, this 3491 just to show the buyers are in control. So crypto is higher. Uh, risk currencies are a little bit mixed. Um, we're seeing some losses to the yen. We'll just touch on them very quickly as well. So we can see um, continued selling um, from the majors, some of those risk majors to the Japanese yen as it continues to um, to make a march. It could send the Nikkei lower as well um, at the open. So keep an eye on that. It does have negative influences, uh, leads from the US as well. With a stronger yen, it could be a little bit tough on the Nikkei once it opens later this morning. So <clears throat> The key one, the key one uh, is the uh, pound yen at the moment in terms of losses, and the dollar yen isn't too far behind it. So you see there. So this key resistance here at um, one fifty one seventy three. We can see a test of that key resistance. So we'll see if we do see further pull a pullback down to this area or this area here at one fifty sixty four or down to one forty nine ninety eight. So probably one fifty will come in as a round number support most likely. So we'll keep a bit of an eye on the yen today, but if we do have a snapback and it breaks above this level, that also could um, you know, activate uh, potential uh, intervention from the Bank of Japan with a break you know, into that you know, test or break into that 152 area. So yeah, one to watch as well. We'll see uh, what happens next on uh, the dollar yen. So news wise this week, very quickly, we don't have no high impact news today. There is tomorrow corable um, durable goods orders uh, coming out from the US. We have um, CB con consumer confidence on Wednesday and Australian CPI. Traders will be looking at Australian CPI locally uh, and um, Aussie dollar traders. If we do get um, flat uh, CPI data, 
I'll have to see how the market interprets that. But if it does come in low, then expect the, expect the Aussie to fall. High than expected, that's going to really start to hurt the rate, uh, rate cut um, camp. And um, that should give the Aussie a bit of a boost on the short term. Now, moving on into this week, we have um, Member Wellis um, speaking on uh, Thursday from the FOMC. And then we have Canadian GDP, final GDP for the US and um, unemployment claims for the US coming in on Thursday. And then early Friday morning, we have pending home sales and revised UAM consumer settlement from the US. And to cap out the week on Friday night, we have core PC price index. And then very early on Saturday morning, um, Fed Chair Powell is speaking um, as well. So we're here, he's speaking at the... Monetary, market macroeconomics and monetary policy conference in San Francisco and he's having a discussion with um, Kai Reisdale. So I wonder if that we will see any further updates or comments about how they are seeing the current uh, situation for inflation and um, if we're going to see any hints or tips about um, you know, potential rate rises we, we may see or may not see uh, later in the year. So I think traders uh, will be watching that one as well just for any tips or hints coming out. So that's it for today's update. Um, thanks for tuning in and watching and up to this point. Uh, well, we will have updates throughout the week. So we wish you all the best of your trading. And um, if you've got any comments or anything you'd like to uh, mention, please um, just drop us a comment on the, in the YouTube comment section. And until our next update, good trading. Uh, we wish you all the best for your week. Have a fantastic Easter as well. And um, bye for now.